Thank you for watching this MindJet for iPhone demo. Over the next few minutes, I'm going to show you the key features of this product uh, and talk about some of its uses. I'm running this product in a simulator, so for all, all intents and purposes, the cursor on the screen is the equivalent of my finger. So anything that you see me do with a cursor is something that you would do on the iPhone using your finger. Foremost, let's uh, enable the application. Let's start up the application. Uh, and it's the red icon on the screen, the red M. That's MindJet for iPhone. And uh, the first screen that you see is a file management screen. It allows you to manage your maps. So if I want to delete a map or add a map, uh, this is where I would do it. So in this case, if I want to add a map, let's go ahead and do that. I'm going to add a map and give it a name. Uh, and I'm going to call it Demo. The keypad comes up automatically for me to do that. Uh, and once I've done that, you can see that there's a new map called Demo that's been added. So if I don't want to do any more file management, I hit Done. And now I can open up the Demo map and start working with it. And you can see that it has started me off with a central topic called Demo. And this is where I can start building my map. The first thing I'm going to want to do is to add subtopics. And by bringing up this uh, command bar, I can use these commands to add subtopics. Or I can use a shortcut. Uh, by clicking on the canvas uh, in the location where I want to add the subtopic, and double click there or double tap with my finger, it bring up, brings up a dialog box that allows me to add subtopics. So here I'm going to say, show formatting, to remind myself that I need to show formatting as part of this demo. And I can hit Save. And there you can see that the subtopic has been added. Of course, I can move this around to locate it wherever I wish by simply dragging with my finger. Or I can use a shortcut for moving it. If I have to move it a long distance across various uh, uh, widths of the canvas, then it's easier to use the shortcut. And that shortcut has to do with clicking on the canvas where you want the subtopic to appear, uh, and then clicking on that crosshair. And you can see that it moves the subtopic there. So I can move it essentially anywhere on the canvas that I choose to move it. Um, and I can add topics to the subtopic at the peer level or at the subtopic level. So let me just add something at the peer level. Let me use the command bar this time and, I, and use this icon here to add a subtopic at the peer level to this one. Okay? So bring up the command bar and show notes. I use my keyboard, but uh, in, in the iPhone, you would use your finger to tap on this keyboard to do so. Um, and uh, you can see that show notes has now been added to the map. Now, of course, as I add things to the map, I'm going to want to re rearrange them. That's one of the keys of mapping is to be able to recon recontextualize your data and build your map by moving things around uh, in the course of uh, inputting items into your map. So, Suppose I want to say show notes is really a, a, a subtopic to show formatting. Well, if I tap on this and hold my finger there, it breaks the link. As you saw, I just broke the link there. And you can drag it over to show formatting. It'll establish a link to this topic and then ask me what to do. Either I want to copy it or move it. I want to move it this time. So it has moved the subtopic now to be associated with show formatting. So this is a technique I can use to build out various topics and subtopics uh, as it relates to my map. Uh, and then I can start adding different elements to the map. Uh, let me first add notes. I've got a reminder here for myself to show notes. So let me add notes to this subtopic. And I can do that simply by uh, either using this icon here to go to the dialog box that allows me to add notes, or I can double click on the topic itself. And here it is again. So I go to the notes uh, and link uh, command here, click on that. And it opens up a pane within which I can type my notes. Uh, and let me go ahead and say, this is cool. And save that. And before I save it, though, let me add a URL to this topic, uh, a, a place that I go to often, www.mindjet.com. And now this URL is associated with this topic. So as you can see by hitting Save here, there's a little icon that appears in the corner of the topic indicating that there's a note associated with this topic. And if I click on that, the note appears at the bottom. So I can see the note right here 
uh, in association with this topic that's been selected. The URL is there, and by clicking on this URL, you bring up the mindjet.com page within the iPhone immediately. And if I had a phone number here, I could click on the phone number and initiate a call directly from the iPhone from the map. Uh, or, in fact, if I had an email address here, I could click on the email address and it would initiate an email. So it appears right here in, uh, in context of the map uh, and in context of the selected topic within the map. So uh, then there are a number of icons and images that I can add to the topic uh, from the library that we have uh, uh, within, uh, within the product. And let me double click on the topic again and it, it allows me to select a couple of icons. Let me say that this is a uh, highly desirable icon uh, item and I put a green flag next to it that uh, we really want to do this. Icon number two is, let's say it's a, uh, you know, high priority. Give it a priority one. Green flag, high priority. We can manipulate the shape. We can change it to an oval or a rounded, it's a rounded rectangle at the moment. We can make it a harder rectangle with uh, uh, hard corners. Uh, apply to children means that this formatting will apply to all the subtopics of this topic. Let's go ahead and do that to uh, maintain consistency. Uh, and I can change the color of the topic if I wish. Uh, let's make this red. And it gives you a sample there so you can see what it's going to look like. Save it. And there you have it. Show notes has been changed in format as I specified. It is red. It has the high priority number one in it and it has the green flag in it. So all of these items allow you to add more context and meaning to a topic so that the map becomes a living, breathing entity that, that really reflects your thinking in a, on a particular topic uh, and something that you can evolve over a period of time uh, as you maintain, maintain your progress and as you, uh, uh, you know, build, out, build out your knowledge base in a particular area. The projects have start dates, end dates, and percentage complete. So uh, let me uh, add a topic to this map to show how we would do that in a map on the iPhone. Uh, and uh, I'm going to add a topic sent to customer uh, and save that. You can see that it's added that topic. Let me go back in here and add some specifics to this topic. Now, before we send it to customer, we want to make sure that the, the map is complete and the demo is complete. So let me set a start date and end date. I'm going to make the start date September 15th uh, and leave it the same here and show that as, that, that is the start date. And then I'm going to make the due date October 15th and say we've got to have this thing done by October 15th to send to the customer. Save that. And how far along are we in this process? Uh, I'm going to say that we're only 25% done. So I'm going to choose 25% from the percentage complete choices here. Save it. And as you can see, send to customer is now associated with a start date and end date. And I can examine those by double clicking on the icon. Uh, and it also has a percentage complete here, 25% uh, complete as I had specified.